March is reading month, so we thought we'd introduce you to a quaint neighborhood bookstore mm -hmm. that is all about the city. And it's here in Detroit. That's right. Yeah. And if you're looking for a recommendation, they have a furry friend who can help with that. We're headed to Grandma Rosedale area of Detroit, where Michelle Oliver is taking us inside Paige's Bookshop. Getting lost in the pages of a book is something Paige's Bookshop owner Susan Murphy loves to do. I've always been a reader. To me, it is a perfect entertainment time. You know, I don't watch a lot of TV. And for me to sit down with a book, especially if it's a book that really grabs me, so it takes me out of the current day, it just can absorb me. But running a bookstore is something she decided to do later in life, after seeing a need in the community. I was teaching at a college, and you know, the kids were coming in, and not just kids, yet adults too, and they didn't read well, and they really didn't write well. And I didn't have the ability to fix that, so I thought I could open a bookstore. What started off as a pop-up down the street became a fully-fledged bookstore in May of 2015. I've been in and out in Detroit uh, for all my adult life. I wanted to stick with Detroit. I felt like Detroit was underserved with books. Like if you're walking down the street, you didn't see a bookstore, so you never had anything to say like, oh, that looks like a good book, or come in and just touch books and talk about books. So she filled her store with titles she loved. Well, a very wise woman told me, do stuff that you like because you can sell what you like. So that's literary fiction and children's books. So that was always the core of the store. But getting to know the neighbors here, I realized this neighborhood is very politically active. It's very environmentally justice active. So I quickly added political science and social science and then history. Now, if you want to learn about Detroit, they actually have an entire section dedicated to the city. You can learn things about the neighborhoods, the Coney Islands, the maps. She recommends this book if you want to learn about Detroit history. And this is another really cool one to check out. It's called Canvas Detroit, and it's all about the artwork in the city. If you've driven around a lot, you've probably seen some of this artwork. So people will come in and say, what should I read to tell me all about Detroit? Which is a very difficult question. Not only just like the history, history, like dates and people, but um, like the history of music in Detroit. So I, I try to carry a wide variety. And if you're looking for a recommendation, you may want to ask Pip. So this is probably my favorite section. I have a lot of books I've already read in here, but I see a couple that I haven't read yet. And so I'm gonna ask Pip here for a recommendation. Pip, which one do you think I should read? She's more interested in the treats. Pip um, has been in my life since my daughter ad adopted her when she was in college, her senior year of college. Sooner or later, I got Pip, and I thought, well, she'll be a good, a good bookstore cat, and she has been a great bookstore cat. During the pandemic, she moved a lot of her sales online, though she says she prefers it when people stop by in person. It makes being here more fun because I get to talk to people, but also they come in and then they'll see the, the art of browsing a bookstore. They'll see new books and new titles and new authors that they wouldn't have never thought about. Page's Bookshop hosts a variety of events like author meet and greets as well as book clubs. It's located at 19560 Grand River Avenue between Southfield and Evergreen in Detroit. And make sure to check out their social media to see Pip's recommendations. Good stuff, right? I love it. Yes. That was a great segment. Yes. Good job, Michelle, as always.